Uh, my telephone number is published in the book, uh, and, and it was foolishly put it in a book, and it was given out on several programs. But the telephone company called and said, we have a lot of calls for spatula ministries, and you're not listed in, as a business, but your, tele, your home number is it. Can we put in spatula, like Barbara Spatula Johnson? I'm sure, I don't care. That's all right. But I didn't realize the telephone calls were going to be so abundant as they have been. Usually the calls kind of go like this. They're usually from a parent who's found out they have a homosexual child or a child that has, has AIDS or maybe a runaway child or a suicide. And by the time they get to me, they're, they're pretty frantic. They have tried and tried to get a hold of me. So I'll say, hello. Oh, I wanted to speak to Barbara Johnson. I want Barbara Johnson. This is Barbara. Oh, but I want the Barbara Johnson that wrote a book about stick a feather in your head or, or put a flower in your hair or something. Yes, this. But but I want. But this can't be. I've tried all over to get you. I can't believe this, Barbara Johnson. Yes, I answer my own phone and I flush my own toilet. Now, how can I help? You? <laughs> and then from there we go on trying to help them. So some of the things I'm going to say today. I hope will be applicable if you have lost a child, if you have a lost child, if you have a child giving you trouble. I don't know what area you're working from, but almost every one of you is in a waiting room situation. Maybe you're hoping or waiting for a, a cure for disease that you have. That would be wonderful. Maybe you're waiting for a, for a husband to come back or for a husband to leave. Or <laughs> but we're all in a waiting room situation. Once in a while, we get a phone call that is a little bit different, and I always appreciate it. I have something happen in my life that's a little bit different. Uh, Some time back, we were in, back east in the Washington area, and I always tell the girls at my booth just to give the books to somebody. If somebody's there and doesn't have the money or whatever, just, just give them the books, and they can send it later. Usually they do, but that's all right. We come out okay. And so a week after we had been there, I got a check in the mail from a man it was unlike anything I had ever seen. Uh, in, on the bottom of the check, it said, do not send me your newsletter. Do not put my name on your mailing list. Do not contact me. Uh, yeah, the check probably going to bounce too. <laughs> and so I don't get kind of notes like that. And so I thought, well, I'm going to call that jerk up. Because <laughs> the telephone number was on the check. So I called him up and I said, this is Barbara Johnson. That, that didn't impress him very much. And then I said, I just received your check today. And I said, Did, I wonder if we offended you or something. I mean, why would you write all this stuff? And he says, well, my wife was diagnosed with cancer three months ago and she wanted to go to that women of faith thing. I didn't want her to go. And then she came home and then she wants me to write out a check to pay for some books she got. And I knew right away I would be getting done for money. I would you, people asking me for money and I'd get on some list and, oh, he was really a irate fat man. So I let him talk a little bit. And then I told him, I know of a place that you can write to in Connecticut and you tell them you don't want any more junk mail and, and they're supposed to take it off. It doesn't work, but that told him anyway. <laughs> So we talked for just a little bit, and I could just let him divulge some of his anger on me. And then he said, uh, my wife is here. Would you like to speak with her? And I thought, oh, I would love that. So he went into another room. Very obviously, he left the room. He was embarrassed. Should have been, so he left. <laughs> and then she talked to me, and she said, oh, I, I was there. I just loved the conference. I loved all the speakers. It was wonderful. But she said, uh, you talked about a book called He's Gonna Toot and I'm Gonna Scoot about heaven. And, and oh, I would just love to have that book, but, but I'll be gone by the time the book comes out. This is in January and it was due in April. She said, I'll, I'll be gone. I said, yeah, you will be gone. No, I didn't say that, but <clears throat> <laughs> I said, well, I have a manuscript. It's kind of scratched up, but I can send you the manuscript if you like to you, not to him, to you. And she said, oh, I would, I would just appreciate that so much. So I overnighted the manuscript to her. And then a day or two later, <clears throat> she called me and she said, oh, Barbara, I read the book. and I just love it. It just ministered to me because it's about heaven and it was just so wonderful. And then she said, I have a favor to ask of you. Would you do a favor for me? And I said, oh, I, I, would, do, I would do anything for you, anything you want. She said, well, when I'm gone, my... Uh, husband is going to be so desolate and so alone, would you put his name down to get your newsletter? 